He said, I'm going to try this chair out. <laughs> Rolling fireball shot. <laughs> yeah. Come on, jump from here, Carlos. <laughs> Cleaning up this county. Yeah, Vote man. For me. 2024. <laughs> We are back again at another single track samurai three day bikepacking group event called the Dirt Devil Spring Tour. Serious question Who drinks beer? We'll have a couple. Some people don't. All right, cool. I so, bourbon. I just want to make sure everybody has some beer. You want bourbon? Some, oh. some <laughs> nod. Like I was at the, at the Huracan a couple weeks ago. I was like, adult beverages. What do you call beverages that are non alcoholic? Kid beverages? So we'll have adult beverages and kid beverages. So don't worry, no pressure. Plenty of water at the camp. I'm awesome. We have just under 30 people, with some who even traveled from North Carolina and Tennessee to give this one of a kind event a try. Now, typically, Florida winters are dry with days and days of sunshine and blue skies. Florida has been experiencing the cloudiest winter period in 84 years, and we seem to be having bad timing with these events and nasty weather. It's just one of those years. The most valuable thing that everyone has is time, and how you decide to use it. We are not going to let some bad weather ruin the fun of epic adventure, and spending time with the ones we love, and doing things we enjoy. It's always a little more enjoyable when you have a group of excellent people to share an experience with, and even more so when the weather is not ideal. It's a roller coaster of emotions, which is what makes doing these types of adventures so addicting. Our first regrouping spot is at a restaurant in Newberry, where everyone enjoys good food and conversation. Then on to more oak tree covered dirt back roads, famous in this area of Florida. A resupply stop is at a fun, typical Florida tourist trap store. This is a unique area along Old Bellamy Road that is special in U.S. history as the river sinks underneath the earth and then re-emerges creating a natural land bridge that was essential in the development of early Florida. Yeah. Then we couldn't be in the video if we turned yeah. right there. Our stay for the night is at a hip camp located in High Springs. The owners and their dog are super friendly, and we enjoy our evening by the fire before the rain moves in. <laughs> we, we killed their dog. <laughs> <laughs> we got the oh, Nacho's happy. <laughs> Nacho's yeah. got their nose. Yeah. Oh. This looks oh. like mushrooms. Mushrooms. <laughs> Usually we just stack <laughs> one of the a light. What is this, baby?
Self is a Congratulations. That has no prelude to the marriage. <laughs> <laughs> Don't read into it. <laughs> We're saving our short for marriage. It's fine. <laughs> yeah. He said, I'm going to try this chair out. <laughs> <laughs> It's a rainy morning as we all get packed and ready for what today brings. Everyone disperses in the cute town of High Springs for resupply. We find this quaint little place called Bambi's Cafe and Farm Market that serves excellent vegetarian food. The sad news is they are closing their doors next month. It's a shame as we love these small mom and pop cafes. Last year's Devil Den Tour, Jeff, Michelle, and Tim stopped at this softball tournament to get a hot dog. And we were happy to see it's going on again this year. Fireball shot. <laughs> <laughs> now that's smelling. Yeah. Oh, oh, all right. There you go. I'll take a look. Rolling fireball shots. Hmm. <laughs> Oh. Wow, she drank like half the bottle for that one. I was, I was thirsty. <laughs> Pretty much everyone regrouped at a small Mexican restaurant in the town of Archer, then resupplied at a convenience store before the last wet push to Two Hawks Hammock Ranch for the night. Whoa, that is a massive tree. Wow. Luckily, the owners of the ranch let us set up undercover as the rain is here to stay and will not stop for the rest of this adventure. Hey. This ranch is right next door to Devil's Den Underground Spring, and later tonight, the owner, Ken, is going to give us all a personal night tour of the spring. Everybody's like scared of him, man. That, that those things scared a crop auditor. So you'll pet it? You go pet it? Yeah. Yeah. I would. <laughs> we had a pair in my aunt named them Dumb and Dumber. Dumb and Dumber? <laughs> but before that, on the third Saturday, which happens to be today, the owners Ken and Heidi have live music from local artists in their barn, including food and drinks. At this point, who cares if it's raining outside when we have this type of entertainment from such awesome people?
This is the Devil's Den, which is said to derive from the misty haze steaming from the top of the opening on chilly mornings. This is a special treat to see this at night. Oh man, this is sweet. It feels warm. Whoa, in here. yeah. Come on, jump from here, Carlos. Uh, <laughs> I see fish. Oh, oh. Ooh. oh, it's not bad. Ken was telling us extinct species of bear skeleton was found down here dating back some 10,000 years. The skeleton is on display at the Florida Museum of Natural History. Everyone is so happy to have their tents under a roof that it is still raining and it is not going to stop. The main discussion this morning is how we all are going to get back to the cars. The original route is around 40 miles. Carlos came up with three options. First one is to take the original route. Second one is to take the more direct 20 mile, mostly paved route. And the third is to take an Uber. Bye. We chose the second option. How's your little pokey gloves doing? Good? Cleaning up this county. Yeah, Look man. For me. 2024. <laughs> Clean up this county. <laughs> Are your feet dry? My feet are good. Oh man, my, my uh, plastic bags failed, man. I'm swimming in water. Amazon waterproof socks for like seven bucks. And we made it. What an epic, fun adventure. Thank you to everyone who attended this event. We had a blast riding and hanging out with you all. Also, a big thanks goes out to Carlos Bernhardt from SingletrackSamurai.com for putting on this event. We are so lucky to have you in Florida. Happy trails. <laughs>